So here you go, Zach Exley. Hello. Um, okay, how do you guys feel about crazy and impossible ideas? Yeah? Really? Really? That wasn't enough. I need more. I need more feedback. Or other, otherwise, I'm going to get nervous and I won't be able to talk. We have five minutes. All right, thank you. All right, crazy and impossible. What were we doing 10 years ago today? <laughs> no, no, this was the best moment because we had taken, we had just invented this tool that turned politics upside down in America. Not, it wasn't just about the money, but we built something that we used the internet in ways that nobody had imagined to give Howard Dean a powerful field operation in every state of the union, except one. Okay, I know it's maybe still a little too soon, but uh, okay, but what did we do? Did we give up? And we dusted ourselves off and we did this crazy impossible thing. We used the same tool to elect a guy named Barack Hussein Obama. That's insane. Totally impossible. How did that happen? We gave these tools to the American people and it turned out the American people were really fucking cool. Those are not the American people. Those are Cylons who have taken over Congress. Okay? So what are we going to do about it? Are we going to give up? No, because we don't do that. We're going to pick those tools that we invented back up and get rid of them. Right, now here's the thing. We're doing it piecemeal. And that's not how these tools we invented work. Okay, there's a mathematical principle behind how our tools work. And it is uh, that the power of these tools increases exponentially with the audacity and the craziness and the impossibility of the goal. So what is the goal? What is the goal that I'm pitching you on? I'm pitching you on a crazy idea that I want you to help with. And it is to go out and get 500 Elizabeth Warrens and run them together as a slate. Okay? All at once. Now, I, and if you want to help recruit this slate, email me. Okay, zachxley at gmail.com. I want 10 people, at least. And then we'll just work on it. We'll just do it. We'll find the people. Now, I know all the reasons why this isn't working. I, I, why it won't work. Sorry, it's not even happening yet. We're not, we haven't even started. But I know all the reasons why it won't work and why it's impossible. But these tools, I actually have faith that these tools that we've created, when we put them in the hands of the American people, behind a slate that actually promises to do shit, and actually lays out what they're going to do. And I'm gonna to get to that. But first, what kind of slate? Who are these people? They're people like Deb Eschemeyer, who farms her own land in the tiny town where she grew up in Ohio. And she also started a national organization that gets healthy, fresh food into schools all over the country. Uh, and she's amazing and brilliant. And does she wanna run for Congress? No, because she's not batshit crazy. So, so we are going to go recruit 500 people like that, people with all different areas of expertise. You know, in other words, real humans who have real experience with our problems in America, not vampires with law degrees. I don't want any more people like that being my representative in Congress. Okay, so when we have the slate, we're gonna spend a few years training. Okay, I'm glad there's a few geeks here, yeah? And we're gonna learn how to act in front of the TV cameras. I'm not running, by the way, because I'm crazy in the wrong way. And, and, and we're gonna learn how to talk about our plan. And the plan that we're promising to enact is not this. It is not throwing trillions of dollars out of helicopters over Wall Street, okay? And that is actually a quote by Ben Bernanke describing what he's doing. Instead, we're going to spend trillions of dollars, but we're gonna invest those trillions into productive infrastructure and industry. We're gonna completely transform the American economy just like we've done before. And why is this so important? Because we don't have 8% unemployment in this country. It's almost 25% when you count it the way we did up until the 90s. Okay, income in this country is falling catastrophically. And if you count inflation the way we did up until the 80s, before we took food and fuel, you know, little things, out of the CPI, right? We have two and a half million people in prison. Schools and basic services are crumbling. In, in all of our communities, drugs, even malnutrition are epidemics. And I am tired of watching my country disintegrate like this. 
I'm tired of seeing my community be eaten up like this. And so if just 10 of you want to work on this, let's do it. We'll just try it and see how it goes. Thank you.